Hello! Today I'm going to be cutting some flat glass. Instead of cutting in a straight line, I have an arch I have to make. So one half side of this glass is going to end up being a dome. Um, if you don't already know, uh, flat glass is typically laminated flat glass. There's two layers of glass with a layer of laminate in between. That's what keeps it from shattering everywhere. Uh, this one is a piece of safety glass that we're cutting for a rooftop for uh, a piece of heavy equipment. Uh, I tried to start a video already, I accidentally hit uh, stop instead of pause. So uh, I have already scored and snapped the other side and I flipped the glass and we're going to go ahead and do the other side. So fine, get on in. And since I've already scored the other side, my line at this point doesn't even matter. I mean, I traced a line on here so I had a guide. But now that I've done the other side, that line that I drew doesn't matter. I don't want to follow that. I want to follow my other cut because if they're not lined up perfectly it's going to be a tough time cutting it so go ahead and get started and see the right over the last one and again i do apologize that i wasn't able to get that film just be gentle with it you got to be careful if you have to adjust you want to make sure you don't rock your glass cutter back and forth this particular cutter I'm using is a oil-fed cutter. Kind of helps keep the glass cool so you don't have issues. I'm just going right over the top. This is how I like to do it. Some people like to stand behind it and pull it. All right, so now that I've got it scored, it's basically going to look like a scratch. This is the oil cutter that I like to use. I don't know if you can see it on there or not. I'm going to take my plate pliers. I'm just going to give it a smack from the bottom up. Okay. What that does is it turns that score into a crack. So now we just need to give pressure to make that crack go all the way over the edge. It's a very sensitive part, especially on the second half. Just putting a little bit of pressure from right underneath the crack and I'm just flexing it a little bit to open that crack up. All right, it can be a little tricky once you get to the end. That's when I like to grab my plate pliers right behind your score and you just kind of rock it back and forth until you can apply enough pressure to where uh, the crack runs itself over. All right. Okay, so that has gone all the way. Now, the reason why I'm filming this is because when you're doing just a straight line, it's easy. You score it, you snap it, you flip it over, you score it, you snap it, and then you use a little heat. Some people use denatured alcohol. I just like to use a torch. And then you need to cut that layer of laminate in between the two pieces of glass, and then you're done. But when you're working on a curved edge, you need to add some relief cuts so that it doesn't add too much pressure. I like to do mine about every two inches. You can do more if you like. I've done them as little as half inch, but I don't really actually feel like I got any extra value out of doing it. All right, so once you've got your scores, you know, knock them from behind, get those scores turned into cracks. Uh, plate pliers come in handy. Now, because I have it cracked already on both sides, these cracks can't go into my nice fresh piece of glass. So that's one relief cut. Now I have to do the same thing on the bottom side. You wanna do it again, right where your other one is. They need to be lined up. Now this doesn't have to be perfect. You try to line up the best you can. As you can see, I wear glasses, nice little benefit of being blind, but safety glasses are recommended and I probably should have gloves on. All right, now we go do the same thing. Just finish up that crack. Now the glass can flex a little bit now because I've already scored the top and made relief cuts, so it's got a little bit of a mind of its own on this, at this point. You just 
Just try to control it the best you can. So, let me grab myself a razor blade. You do want to use just a standard single edged razor blade. You don't want to use a utility blade because they're wider and they could cause stress and make it crack in the direction you don't want it to go. So I'm just gonna add a little heat. And as I'm doing this, I'm, I'm twisting it and adding a little pressure. So what I need is that glass to flex enough so that it opens up a gap so I can get my razor blade in there. So now I've got a little bit of a gap, just enough to get my blade into. It's probably a good idea to start from the edge, but with this particular curve, I find it easy to just wherever you can get it in, and then work your way to one edge. All right. So I've cut that laminate there. Again, probably should have gloves on. So do as I say, not as I do, I guess. This is the curve that I cut off. And you can see where those relief cuts, or maybe you can or you can't, but the relief cuts made it so that it didn't split my new window that I'm trying to make. All right, so um, here is the arch that I cut. I did the same thing on the other side. I could have done this all in one straight cut, but you know, then there's a lot of relief cuts and a lot more pressure. So for me, I find it's the easiest way to do it. Well, thank you guys. Have a good day. I hope you enjoyed the video.